Well, good morning everyone. We're after another adventure. We're headed to the Big South Fork. It's right at the uh, border of Kentucky and Tennessee. The uh, recreation uh, park is half in Kentucky, half in Tennessee. It's 125,000 acres. And there's just as many arches here as there are at the uh, National Arches Park in Utah. Has three campgrounds. Has two campgrounds for horses. Trails galore. But we're headed down here for three days. We're gonna do some uh, dispersed camping. Hopefully we can find a really nice location. And the uh, astrophotography must be fantastic here. So hopefully the skies will clear up. Gonna be a long day. Long three days. But uh, we're headed to the uh, visitor center get some information, get some maps. This is a big place. Covers a lot of square mileage, miles. Uh, it's supposed to be fantastic down here. It's the uh, hidden gem. Oh, here we go. There it is, big South Fork sign. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Should be big South Fork sign. This is the uh, road to the East Rim Overlook. Same before this uh, recreation area doesn't receive that many visitors as uh, Smoky Mountains. If you ever been. The Smokies just in October they receive receive over a million visitors. And traffic is horrible. No camping and parking. All right, we're here. We're at the East Rim Overlook. It's about 48 degrees. It's a cool morning. It's not raining. That's good. Go this way. Follow the trail. You're the trail leader. Well, this will be a good area for stargazing. It's short. Wow. What do you think? Pretty nice. Big South Fork is an amazing place. Scenery is absolutely beautiful. The terrain, rough and unforgiving in places. Steep sheer cliffs adorn the valleys which the rivers have carved their way throughout the rugged mountains of the Cumberland Plateau and the Big South Fork. Trails will challenge you, but will reward you 
with amazing views, various landscapes, from waterfalls, sandstone arches. The landscape changes from trail to trail. The wide, what, <clears throat> excuse me, the wild magnolia grows densely throughout the park, running your path. As you venture to another area of the park, as you start your journey down the trail, it looks as we were transported to Oregon or Washington, as the landscape is overgrown with green moss, towering pines, and pine needles covering the floor of the forest. The sunlight rays peeking through the dense canopy, highlighting rock formations, arches, or small brooks as the water runs carefully over the rocks. You get a glimpse of sparkles from the sunrise as it bounces off the water. The park has a lot of history. The time you spend here will open your imagination as you adventure the different areas of the 125,000 acres, going after another adventure will be memorable. Off to my right, it's a huge incline of a hill. Now we have the river off to my left. It's very peaceful. I just passed some rapids back there. Portage, and we have Hunger Falls, John Smith's place. How neat. Yeah. Check out this. Venture on the river. Wake up to that in the morning. <laughs> Down here. I wish Jane was here. That's a beautiful hike back there. Now we're going to go back to the car. Have a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Maybe a pop tart.
Hello folks, after a little searching, he finally found a spot. Really, it's really secluded too. But it's um, the Hatfield Trail. Believe me, this is out in the boonies. Probably about nine miles into the woods. And uh, one of the rangers just drove by on a uh, four-wheeler. Give us a thumbs up so we're good. Get all unpacked. Oh, the essentials too. And set up chill out for the day I got a perfect spot for uh, stars tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna chill out the rest of the day so. oh, welcome back sun is shining it's a beautiful afternoon it's set up it's just a quick rigging and the sleep, that's it. Sleep and hike. Eat, sleep, hike. That's what Everest is already doing. He does not like the air mattress. He cannot pat it down. He's busy over there patting it down, trying to smooth it out. But it won't work. If the wind dies down, you will have a fire. There's a pit over there. How many bears are out here? All of them. Boy, it's definitely a pretty afternoon. Better than being at work. Yipper. All right. Good morning, everyone. Getting a little early start for the twin arches come out here yesterday this place was packed somebody had their German Shepherd running around not leashed so he said go somewhere else come out here just as the sun's coming up see and uh, see what type of pictures we can get and see what's out here should be interesting. <sighs> Packed up camp yesterday early. Uh, I wanted to go see the Milky Way and take some pictures of it at the uh, East Rim. And it actually worked out really great. That place we chose a camp afterwards it's just a small little area nothing special it got pretty cold last night and this is where I'm gonna go but the big south fork does Cater to the horse industry, which is no problem. Uh, there's probably about eight different horse camps outside the park that are pretty elaborate. I'm gonna stop by one, check it out, because it has wagons for uh, little cabins that you can rent spend the night in. It's pretty neat. But... Alright, happy trails. Easy. What a view. Wow. 
Get up there. This is awesome. Cool beans. Pretty neat. Now that's going to be a climb. So I'm going to put you away. See you in a bit. We're on top of the arch now. Some more stairs. Yeah, this is the top of one of the arches right here. We'll go down these stairs. There's one. Never stop. <sighs> I read this morning that this park has over 300 black bears. I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully it's from a distance. Stop. Easy. This way. <laughs> really? We're we playing ring around the pine tree. A crazy dog. I was really hoping maybe to catch the sunrise in the arch. Well, hopefully that's coming through. It's beautiful.
It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Outstanding. What do you think, Evers? Pretty nice? Yes, it is. Don't chew on that. Rumor has it, those are bear claws. Ancient. Ooh. All right, one last look. This is a beautiful arch. Definitely rates right up with National Arches Park. And there three times. This is why I try to get out here early as possible. People don't like waking up early, especially when it's cold. Come out here. This is the perfect time. It's peaceful, it's quiet. You can get the camera shots you want. I don't have very much time with that sunrise. It rises very quickly. Okay, happy trails. I know that some of the dialogue's pretty lame, but I know the scenery isn't. I'm gonna try to bring you the best that I can. And hopefully I can succeed.
was looking at a big tree back there, not like that, a little bit bigger. There's not very many big trees left anymore. If you're around for the 70s, and all the hippies, hug tree, tree huggers were around, especially out in California, the redwoods and the sequoias. Really didn't think anything about it until I went out there, seen how big and massive those were, and they were cutting them all out, clear cutting, not selective, but just clear cutting them. Those are the type that you can drive your car through. Just magnificent. And I could see why I spent months chained to a tree nobody would listen money power greed I gotta thank those guys and women definitely stopped it took a lot of sacrifice am I a tree hugger no. My conservations, yes. Alright. Cooking breakfast after the arches. Definitely need it. He's got his little sweater on. It's it cold. Got some coffee going. Picked up a coffee cup this morning. Went in town, 4 a.m. Got some coffee, so I got a coffee cup. Yay me! Oh, I'm gonna have some eggs, some bread, some oatmeal, some coffee. John Wayne coffee. Slave Falls section right here. It's like Washington, Oregon. It has that feel to it? Come on. Oh, pines. All oh, the green moss. Just need a little more ferns, thicker, bigger. Clover big as your fist. We had a beautiful October day. You could ask for better weather. Still has that feel to it, it still hasn't changed. is enjoying himself. All right, we're headed to Needle Arch. Some other people are going to Slave Falls. They have a bunch of dogs with them. I don't know how well they play with the Everest. Everest play with them. Continue our adventure. Another sandstone arch. Cool. And 
no climbing on arch. All right, it's a needle arch. There it be. Come here, over here. Hey, yeah, come here. Tell you, we got some beautiful country. Let's get out there and explore it. Just a minute. Let's get out there and explore it. Sweet. There's no adventure on the couch. There isn't. This way, Evers. Come on, back down this way. You go. Here's some of the horse camps. State Park. Well, I never did make it to Slay Falls. I made it probably about uh, 100 yards. More people with uh, dogs not on the leash. Not even going to attempt it. I'm going to test fate. Right. It's really big around here too. You know, they got a regulation. Dogs on a leash. It's there for a reason. Right, we're going to head to the O and W Railroad. There's nice big horse farms out here too. Let's see on this road, 259. Rustic Retreat, Catarano, Active Horse Rides, Horse Rides, can't even talk, here we go, there's the wagons, run them out, teepees, True West, that's what this place is called, it was hopping last night, well yesterday, a lot of vehicles out there. I guess they got more land out and back.
All right, our next stop is O.N.W. Railroad. It's down by the uh, river. Continue following the river. Check the mileage when we go back out, see how long this is. Big rock. Honey. spend much time there. There are a lot of people down there. Some rude people. So going to get something to eat and uh, I'm gonna go up north to the Blue Herring Mine and there's the Devil's Jump look out try to get a picture there for the uh, Milky Way uh, Milky Way wasn't lining up correctly for a shot with the bridge it's a beautiful bridge and I was hoping that it would would have been fantastic next time This definitely is a beautiful area. So much to explore. So little time. You have more time than you need. Less time than you think. We'll see you in a little bit. Happy trails.
I lock you in there. Because these buildings still, green buildings are uh, replicating the uh, church. I guess that was the schoolhouse over there. It's the concession stand. But from what I know, this is a thriving mine and community. And they had a come on, there was had a bath bathhouse down at the end where the workers had to take a shower before going home because of all the coal mine dust. And it made them feel better to go home and clean. That was more than that. The blue herring was operated from 1937 until late 1962, where it, was not, where it wasn't profitable to keep open any longer. Hundreds of people lived and worked in this area along the Big South Fork River. As I stand on the edge of the gorge, I can hear the, in the background the partiers enjoying their night below. It's been a long day, forever since I, and I have been getting a nasty sinus infection and it's steadily progressed to get worse. After the photograph shots of the Milky Way, I decide to pack it up and head back home. It will be <clears throat> a few hours, but my head isn't feeling a, another night of camping. Happy trails, everyone.